in studio, Chris Hansen. Yeah. He walks in, i got to be honest with you, I'm like, oh my God, we're all in trouble. <laughs> well, imagine being one of my kids when something happens. I said, come on in here and have a seat over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you have a seat over there? <laughs> my favorites are when you uh, actually have the photos of the guys, a uh, little pixel. <laughs> and uh, it's like, you sent this photo along? <laughs> and, and the guy's just like, yeah, that's me. What can you say at that point? So I mean, who knew that so many people were sending photos like this back and forth? I yeah. had no clue. Yeah. I didn't know that so many people were, were hooking up, much less having these kind of conversations. Yeah, legitimately hooking up. Yeah, yeah there's mean, things going on. Yeah, I mean, who knew? <laughs> there are people, uh, for instance, in Texas who, who um, were critical uh, because they didn't want us doing this investigation in, in their neighborhood. I would mm-hmm. argue that we made that the safest neighborhood in Texas that weekend. Yeah. I would argue that um, we have a lot of security and precautions in place, so everything was safe. Um, I would argue that, that we are continuing we are covering a continuing story, and we don't do just one story in the war on terror or the war in Iraq or the economy or, or the fuel efficiency in vehicles. We're not going to do just one story on this issue. You've got to teach your kids not to give out all kinds of information on their social networking sites. I mean, these predators, for instance, whether it's a financial predator or, or a, a computer sexual predator, you know, these guys are really good at taking bits and pieces from a kid's MySpace and, and getting into a conversation and grooming the kid over a period of weeks and, and finding out where they are and setting up a meeting. You know, one of the things is we say be careful of strangers, but some of these predators are so good at, at, at developing a relationship, the kid doesn't think it's a stranger You've built up like an outline of what this kid's about, interests, yeah. and now you can kind of talk like you're interested in the same thing. And they're thing, working. And, yeah. and, and mm-hmm. kids have to know that, wow. you know, that these guys are out there. Destroyed, uh, well, people well, always ask, out. you know, what's the profile of one of these guys? Well... You know, as you've seen in the stories and, you know, we talk about it in the book, these are guys who come from mainstream American mm-hmm. families. Now, we get, you know, our percentage of creepy-looking fellows, don't get me wrong, but the vast majority of them do not have the word predator tattooed mm-hmm. on their forehead. Were, were there any times that you felt like you were really in the room with, like, a sociopath, like a, a, a real problem who could be a problem for you or you're in danger? We've had, I don't know, you know, a couple of tense moments you know, in, in California, a military guy was there, and he'd already taken off his shirt, you know, for the hot tub, and walked around and saw us, and we were face-to-face, and, and there was a split second there where I thought, this guy is thinking about <laughs> whacking me. I mean, and he's got the guns to do it. And, and it just, it was quiet for a minute. I said, well, you, come on, let's talk over there. Let's just sit right down over there. And he calmed down, and we had the long conversation. But uh, Chris Hansen, man, you do a great thing. Thanks, guys. Really Thank you. Pleasure Thanks being for here. coming down. Yeah.